Hey there, it's Chris Goff, and in this video, I want to show you how to quickly search for vacant properties in REI Pro and build a direct mail campaign, as well as running some bulk skip tracing. Now, why vacant properties? Well, think about it. Why would a property sit vacant? Just moved, health, death, no money to fix it up, can't sell, inherited, in between tenants, tired of tenants. No matter the reason why it's sitting vacant, here's the problem. Someone is paying taxes, maybe a mortgage. Somebody could break in and vandalize the home. Somebody could get hurt on the property. And these are all signs of seller motivation and why vacant properties make great investment deals for real estate investors. Now, generally, these are off-market deals, so they're not advertised for sale or on the MLS. And just so you know, most great deals aren't on the MLS anyways. Now, you could drive the neighborhoods and look for these deals. I mean, that's what I did when I got started. You could spend marketing dollars on Facebook, AdWords, put up signs, even car magnets. And these are all still great ways to find vacant leads. But in this video, I want to save you time and money because some of you may not even have the time to drive the neighborhoods, or maybe you're just getting started and you can't afford to run marketing ads. So let's jump into REI Pro and search for some vacant properties. Okay, we're in REI Pro. I wanna first define what a vacant property is. And there's only one company that actually makes this determination, and that is the post office. So someone doesn't pick up their mail for about 90 days, and when this happens, the post office declares the property vacant. Obviously, right? I mean, they don't want to keep delivering mail when no one's picking it up. This list is sent to us every 30 days nationwide. Now, all other lead types are updated daily. Now, we'll warn you right now, there are companies out there, and you know the ones, that offer and claim that they have vacant data, but if they don't have a direct relationship, they could be scraping websites and all kinds of shady stuff, so be careful. All right, let's run a search, filter our list, and build a direct mail campaign. I'll also show you how to run a skip trace as well. The first thing that I'm going to do is actually type in a location. Now we will save the last three locations you've entered. So I'm gonna select Hollywood, Florida. Then I'm gonna go over to what are you looking for and I'm going to select vacant properties. Now you could list stack here, but in this example, in this video, we're just gonna select vacant properties and click search. Now, the first thing you may want to do is filter your list down to a better targeted list based on your buying criteria. The first thing you'll see here is the ability to stack your list with other lead types. Next is property types. So depending on what you're looking for, you can click these on and off. In this example, I'm only going to select single family. Now, if you're looking for something more specific, you can type it in the search box below such as bowling alleys, high-rise apartments, and even airports. Next is our property values. Here you can filter down your results by estimated value, tax appraisal value, equity dollars, or equity percentage. In this example, I wanna filter the list down to the median home price and a little bit below. So if you're wholesaling, as an example, I wanna target the 200 to $500,000 range. And I got this number by clicking the Area Statistics button. This is where the majority of deals will be when wholesaling. Obviously, you can wholesale in just about every price range, but this is where there are going to be more owner situations. Next up, I'm going to select a minimum of 50% in equity. So these properties must have at least 50% in equity. I'm also going to exclude HELOCs and reverse mortgages. Next is our property attributes. You do have the ability to narrow this list down by bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, lot size, year built, and last sold date. This example, I'm going to select more than two years. So I want the owner to have owned this property for at minimum two years. Next is our owner section. And here you can remove company owned properties. So if I just want to target individual owned properties, I could select individual. You also have the ability to define where the owner lives. Now, with this particular vacant property, the tax assessor could still say they live there. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually identify those particular errors when we clean this list. But in this example, I don't really care if they live in the property, they live in the state, or if they even live out of state. I'm then going to apply my filters. 
Now over on the map side, you do have the ability to filter this list down even more by neighborhoods and schools. Let me show you how to do this. First, you want to zoom into the locations. And as you can see, the dots on the map. As soon as you zoom in far enough, I can click on this button that says neighborhoods. Now that's gonna identify the different neighborhoods. And if I zoom in just a little bit more, you'll be able to see the names of these neighborhoods. And you may wanna target just very specific neighborhoods. If you do wanna do that, you could use our draw tool. Simply click the draw and identify neighborhoods. You could do this up to eight times. But for this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and X that back off. You may wanna also filter your list by school boundaries. Here, I may wanna select high school. Now, if I zoom back out just a little bit, you could see the high school boundary lines as well as the school ratings. So I could actually take every property within this particular school boundary by just clicking add to list and that will take all the dots within that school boundary. Remember, you do have the ability to draw multiple different shapes here as well. These two features are really great for rehabbers. You do have the ability to expand the map by clicking the arrow here to get a better view. You also have the ability to click search by map, which will search for leads outside of your original boundary line as you move the map. If you wanna enter another location, you can simply type it in the search box above. You can also see your results by scrolling over to the right and clicking on estimated values, equity dollars, equity percentage, as well as tax appraised value. So now that you've narrowed your list down, we wanna build a marketing campaign. Now you may be asking yourself, why would we build a direct mail campaign when the post office says they're not delivering mail there? And this is a great question, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it shortly. The first thing you wanna do is go to the actions button. Here you do have multiple different ways to select the leads. Now, I know I have a total of 115. If I were to select leads on this page, it would select the first 50 and you'd have to do that over and over. You do have the ability to select all 115 leads, or maybe you want to enter a specific number of leads. Now you can order postcards through REI Pro, so if you enter the budget in, we'll automatically calculate the total number of postcards you can mail out. In this example, we're gonna select all 115 leads. Now, like I said, I want to add it to a marketing campaign. You do have the ability to add it to your property section as well as exporting the list. I'm gonna click on add to a marketing campaign. So here I'm actually gonna type in a new campaign. So we're gonna call this Hollywood and we'll just say vacant here. Now you do have the ability, what kind of property type is this? We're gonna go in and select vacant. You also have the ability to add it to an existing campaign if you're not creating a new one. I'm gonna hit add selected leads. Now, once my leads have been created in a marketing campaign, I'm gonna simply go to my marketing section. And here you can see our campaign, Hollywood Vacant. Now we're gonna order some postcards. All you have to do is simply click order postcards. Now, depending on how you wanna send these out, you do have multiple different ways from just sending you know, one postcard one time. You could also do a drip campaign. So if you had thousands of leads, you could send X amount of leads every week or every other week until that list is gone. You could also send out mailers two times to this list or even three times. In this example, we'll go with a single mailer. You also have the date you want to print this. And why we put this in here is, let's say that you're going on vacation. You want to get the order in, but you don't want all these mailers to go out while you're on vacation. So you can actually set that print date. Over to the right, we're going to see the totals and the breakdown of everything. And we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Now it's time to actually choose a postcard. Here that our category is vacant, we're gonna provide you with some postcard templates that you can use. Also keep in mind that we do have other postcards as well as any postcards that you have imported and uploaded into REI Pro. So feel free to check out the other postcards that uh, may work better for you. In this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and select my card. Now once I do that, I can select continue. Now I wanna enter in my contact information. You can see that I have two saved contact um, lines here. So we're gonna have what's called line one and line two. Now line one is always going to print a little bit larger. If you see the example on the far right, you can see the phone number is much larger than the domain. Now it's irrelevant of what you can put in here. You can put in an email address as an example. So feel free to utilize both lines, but 
You don't have to use both lines. Maybe you just want one line. So you can feel free to do it and customize it as you see fit. Below that is going to be the return address. So if you do want a return address, you could go ahead and click that and you will see that over to the top right over here. Now below, if you want a copy mailed to you, you can simply click this, enter in your information, and we can actually mail you a postcard. Now you will be charged for that postcard, but it gives you a good idea of what does it look like? What does it feel like? And also gives you about the time frame the postcards are gonna be delivered. Next, I wanna scroll to the bottom and click continue. Here, we just want to make sure that everything looks good, right? So we want to make sure that uh, you approve that. If you do have any issues, maybe you mistyped something in, feel free to click the top uh, back here, uh, the contact, and you can make any kind of changes. We're going to click continue. Now, this part is extremely important and this is where we're going to actually clean the list now we do carry this cost on to you but at the end of the day you're going to save a ton of money in returned mail that's right return mail because keep in mind although we search for vacant properties what about those properties that have maybe an address error through the tax assessor what happens if the tax assessor doesn't have the new billing address for the person that left and that's where we can run that national change of address we could check for duplicates we could check for address errors and this is going to save you so much money so we do want to go ahead and process this we're going to click pay now you could see the results so duplicate addresses was zero vacant undeliverables okay at 48 so this is where the tax assessor still has the billing address as the property address that the post office said was vacant and we're not going to deliver mail there so if i deliver mail to these 48 properties they are guaranteed to be returned now what do we do with these 48 well i'm going to show you here in just a little bit what you could do with that. Next, we found eight address errors. And the great thing that we're gonna do is give you the ability to actually correct those errors. So out of that total list, we have 59 good leads to mail out. Now this is gonna save you. If you were to mail out the 115, you would have got a lot of return mail. 48 of them would have been guaranteed returned. And then we have eight address errors. So not only did it cost me $2.30 or so to run this list, it actually saved me a lot of money because look, tax assessors are never going to be perfect no matter what. And a lot of owners that leave vacant properties, they, the first thing on their mind isn't, hey, let's call the tax assessor and give them an updated address, right? So we do want to run that national change of address on these people so we can get the card into their hands. Next, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna hit continue. Now, at this particular moment, you can check out. Once you do check out, you're gonna receive an email. We're also gonna go back to marketing and start to figure out, okay, what do we need to do with these vacant undeliverables as well as these address errors? So let's go jump back over into marketing and get that corrected. So now that we're back in marketing, you can see we ran the list made here, right? So we're gonna to go to list made and then we're gonna go, you could download this um, as well as view errors. So as you can see, the very first property says an address here. So if we drop this down, it says the address is commercial mail receiving agency, private mailbox uh, number is missing. So you might have to do just a little bit more research online to actually get this particular number. Now, once we have corrected this address, we could hit save. And obviously we could put them in a new campaign and then get these cards mailed out because it doesn't say that they're not still a good deal. So again, you could go through this list and get things corrected and then take these leads put them back in a marketing campaign and get some mail out to them. Because if any other investor is sending mail to these properties and they're not cleaning their list, they're just getting returned mail and they're probably moving on to the next property. And yet these still could be really good properties. So now that we have some postcards ordered, I also wanna show you how to run bulk skip tracing. So I'm gonna take this list and actually run the skip trace. We're gonna click run report. This may take a few minutes, just depending on the size. Now you can move somewhere else in, in the software while this is running. Once it is ran, we can click download, skip, trace, report. So as we pull up this list here, you could see any kind of mobile numbers all the way down to landline numbers and up to 
three email addresses or any email addresses that we can actually find for this person. This is going to be great for the person that wants to, hey, maybe you just want to pick up the phone or maybe you're using a third party uh, company to kind of handle the calls or voicemails and things that you want to do with this information. So again, this would be the fastest way of just contacting someone, you know, where direct mail is, you know, the less forward, you know, hey, let them call you. And that's really going to show the motivation. So not only do we have those postcards out and delivered, um, you do have the ability to run the skip trace report for all these properties, get a deal. I think at the end of the day, that's the whole point. If you don't market properties, you're never going to get a deal. So here we found a property simply by just going into Lead Pro and searching vacant properties. We then filtered our list down to the most targeted list of properties we're looking for. We then built a marketing campaign and mailed out postcards as well as running a bulk skip trace report. Hey, thanks for watching and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and smash that like button and I'll see you on the next video.